In today's video, we're going to take a look at how to remove a file in C. It's fairly straightforward. The function that we're going to have to call is named simply remove. And what this guy takes is just a path to the file that we want to remove. This path is actually relative to the exe file most of the time. For Visual Studio, it's a bit different. But basically, what you have to do is just pass in either a file name that is in the same directory with the exe file or an absolute path to the file that you want to delete or a relative path to the exe file. So here in my projects folder, I actually have three dot that files and I want to remove them. Uh, here I have number, number two and number three. Let's try to remove number two, for example. All we have to do is just pass in the name or the path to it and launch the program. That's all there is to it. If you'll notice here I have Remove that file and it no longer exists in here. Do know that all the files removed using this function in uh, Windows don't actually go to the recycle bin. So you're gonna have to search for them using a uh, file recover or something if you delete something accidentally. So be careful using uh, when you're using this function, all right? Now, what if I try to remove a file that doesn't exist? So we have removed this. What if I try to remote, remove it again? Well nothing happens. It doesn't crash the program, it still works. So what you have to do to figure out if the file got removed, you're going to have to take in the result. The result is just an integer that is set to zero if it's successful and something else if it's not. So if I can, if I say here res is zero, then what I can do is simply print f remove file successfully. Then else here I can say printf failed. So printf failed to remove. So if I try to run this now, you can see failed to remove on the screen. That's nice, but there's a bit of a problem here. Why did it fail to remove? I mean, sure, the file might not exist, but there's also the possibility that I don't have the permissions for that file to be to delete it. You know, uh, the permissions of a C program, right? If it wants to delete a file, are the permissions of the user that executes that file, which is my user. So if my user is not an administrator, I might not be able to delete some of the files. Um, and due to that, well, we have to get the error somehow. We have to figure out what, what went wrong. To do this, we have to uh, include two more headers. So here I'm gonna say include add no.h and also include a familiar header called string.h. So after executing this function, you're actually going to get a global variable set to a certain value if the uh, function did not succeed. That variable is called add no. All right, so this add no thingy is a simple number, but it can be translated to a string. How, how to do that? Very simple. We have to call a function called str error underscore s. And this guy takes in a place to store the message that this number gets translated to and the number itself. So we first need to declare here a buffer. Let's call it buff and just 256. Pass it here as the first parameter. The second parameter is the number of bytes we have declared over there and just the last one is the error no variable. And I can say here fail to remove because percent %s. Let's say something like that and then I'm gonna pass it here to printf our buffer. If I try to run this now, you'll notice fail to remove because no such file or directory. So that makes sense. We have removed this file already so it doesn't exist. If I try to remove for example number 3 dot that, it says removed file successfully because that still didn't get removed. Now, some people might suggest using str error without the underscore s. I'm using underscore s because I'm using a more recent compiler. If you're using just str error, well, do know that this guy just takes in the error number and simply returns the string itself. So we're gonna have to use it instead of the buffer right here. So you no longer need a buffer for it. But due to security reasons, uh, this function is actually deprecated in the later versions of uh, the C compiler or the C standard. Now these messages are going to be 
uh, operating system specific, right? So on Windows are these messages, on Linux are different messages. So you're gonna have to probably treat them differently if need be, um, as well as this function. So this function is actually C standard. You can use it on all C compilers, right? You can use it on all platforms. Uh, but this guy most likely behind the scenes calls the Win32 API, which you may be familiar with. All right, that's about it with this function. Just be careful, it does delete all the files like completely. So don't uh, create a very complicated algorithm without testing it first with just a simple, let's say printf. And if you do have any questions, do it in the down comments below or on our Discord server. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, bye.